Welcome to Electrical Process Development. We've been asked by one of our customers to have a look at a VC999 vacuum packing machine, electronic model. The problem is here is the IO card has failed and these cards aren't cheap. It's more than a few thousand dollars to replace. So what we've done is we've put in a, uh, a PLC, modified the control wiring a little bit and put in a touch screen. Now this touch screen is IP65 but also we put in these manual buttons to start the cycle, start and stop the machine uh, purely because it's going to be a repetitive use so we just want to alleviate any stress on the touch screen. We were able to adjust the platen up and down manually so they can have some set heights when they're actually vacuuming. Uh, also, we're able to adjust the seal time, the vacuum time, and the trim time. We can reset faults, basically the major fault is if the uh, lid comes down and the uh, safety switch has been activated. So reset. And the wash down, we'll start the machine, have a wash down cycle. Press that, the little come down, the vacuum, and it'll turn off. The room can now be washed down without it getting any steam vapour inside the vacuum system. Operator comes in the morning, starts the machine, we're ready to rock and roll. So, it's a quick, easy fix. Should any one of these components fail, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to replace a single component than it is to replace one of these cards. So the final check, go for the vacuum, hold your finger down, light covers on, it's away. And vacuuming. And we're away.